Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Gentlemen and ladies. And everybody else. Welcome back to Tales of Symphonia. We just got out of that horrid dungeon. And now we are, you know, back kind of at the entrance. But guess what? We're going to have to go back in there. Again. So, I um, hope everyone's doing great. Uh, this is going to be kind of a special episode. A little bit longer than uh, some of the others because we've got uh, some important scenes that I'm leaving in. Some really famous scenes in the next dungeon and I just wanted to leave them all in for completeness sake so you could see them in the Japanese version. But we're heading back to uh, Altessa's house and gonna see if we can help Colette. In the last episode she kind of collapsed. So this is the uh, fourth time we've had to rescue her. So everybody's waiting around, wondering, a bit worried. And also remember in the last episode, um, um, we fought Yggdrasil and he dropped the uh, kind of little pipe organ thingy, whatever you call it, the flute. So, and that flute was given to Genius by Mitos. So Genius suspects that they are one and the same. There's Mitos. So, yeah, there's something strange between them right now. But, of course, uh, Colette's okay. It was a long scene there, but I want to put this scene in. If you move, your son will be hurt. You've changed since you've made a family, haven't you, Kratos? So this is the first time that Lloyd has heard that Kratos is his father. His real father. Yeah, that's the usual reaction when you have these, uh, you know, suddenly, I am your father moments. What what can I believe in? What's the truth? You know, the one who betrayed us and put Colette through such terrible things. He can't be my father. You are you. Japanese love that quote, right? Colette, you are Colette. You are you. Lloyd, you're the one that said you, even though I'm you know, becoming like an angel, I'm still Colette. Boy, they really love that quote, huh? You are you. And I am me. He can't call him his father. Yeah, 
クルシスやディザイアンもみんな犠牲になった人たちだでも目的のためには犠牲が出てもいいなんて思えないよ死んでいい命なんてない死ぬために生まれる命なんてあっちゃいけないんだ俺はコレットを助けるために世界を見殺しにはしない最後の最後までみんなが生きる道を探したい素晴らしく臭い演説だね Looking for a path where everybody can be saved. And here comes Mitos. Mitos? Wow, it's such a powerful beam that it made them disappear, actually. Boku ga kizuite nai to demo omotta. ね、ただ。僕のジャマバカの<笑> どうしたんじゃ。ミトさん。やっぱり。やっぱり。やっぱり信用できなかった。正解だね、ジーニアス。僕もお前なんか信じてなかった。Originally, Tabitha was supposed to be the vessel for his sister, Mito's sister. But then, of course, he was creating,、uh, you know, Colette. Colette to be the、uh, vessel for his sister. ここだけ。やめがあるフィオモーカミアップ。やめがあるフィオモーカミアップ。やめがあるフィオモーカミアップ。やめがあるフィオモーカミアップ。やめがあるフィオモーカミアップ。やめがあるフィオモーカミアップ
死ぬための命なんてあっちゃいけないだと自分がつけているそのエクスフィアが何なのか冷静に考えてみるといい。See, I know I'm not、um, translating everything. I wanted to kind of, you know, have the scene without me talking. So most people know what the dialogue is. And of course, this game's already been imported into English. So, but I do want to show these、uh, important scenes、um, for the Japanese version, just so those of you that are fans can actually see. You know, what was said and you know, how the feeling is kind of different. So, after all those scenes, we're going to be heading to、uh, Flanor and we're taking、uh, Colette to see the doctor. Or, actually, the doctor is going to go see Colette, I guess, or one of those things. Since we finally got all the items, and there's a Bishian just hanging out there. All suspicious like. And once again,、uh, Zealous is also acting a little suspicious. He's sort of talking to himself there for some unknown reason. Which means insanity. That's right, he's going crazy. He's talking to his illusionary pal, the pink bunny, Mr. Fluffles. So, this is the doctor's house, all these people waiting out front. Of course, Lloyd, being the、uh, evil person that he is, cuts in front of everybody that's been waiting in line in the snow. Dada! And there's going to be a very famous scene here where three people come in that have the best、uh, affection for Lloyd. And you get to choose one. But I'm going to go ahead and choose Colette since that's the famous scene from the intro. So, I won't choose Genius, so I'll choose the second one. And my third one was、uh, Sheena. But I'll go ahead and choose Colette. And if you don't choose any of them, then Kratos will join your party. Or it'll be Kratos as the final person. <laughs> Colette's happy that it's cold because she can feel cold again. So she wants to go on a walk. So you can, you can say yes or no. You get your third person, but I'm choosing a Colette just for the famous scene in the intro. クラトスさんが言ってたこと。あいつが何か言ってたか。エクスフィアを捨てることはいつでもできる。今は犠牲になった人々の分まで彼らの思いを背負って戦う必要があるはずだって。
でもあいつは母さんを怪物にしたやつの親玉にヘコヘコ使えてやがる違うと思うなクラトスさん私たちのこと何度も助けてくれたよロイドのことも守ってくれたよそれはだからきっとクラトスさんはロイドのこともロイドのお母様のことも大切に思ってるんだよ素敵なお父様だよねもしかしてそれを言いたくてここに連れてきたのかえっとねそれもそうかなありがとう大丈夫だよあいつが親父だったってこと今はもうそんなにショックじゃないんだうんでもオリジンの封印のことか嫌なこと言ってごめんねでも体内のマナを放射したらいくら天使化したクラトスさんでも分かってる生きていられるのかそれもわからないよなだからね私のこと助けてくれたみたいにクラトスさんの命を失わなくてもオリジンを解放できる方法を探そうよこれとみんなもわかってくれるよねそうしようよありがとなでも俺思うんだクラトスにはクラトスの考えがあってミトスに着いたんだってだからそれを聞いてみたい全てはそれからだ行くんだねデリスカーラーミあ,あ明日アルテスタさんの具合を聞いたら行くつもりだミトスの千年王国には賛成できないだからそれを阻止するミトスと戦うよもう少し近くに行ってもいいかなえああこんなに綺麗な景色シルバラントみたいに荒らされてほしくないな荒らさせないよそうだよね今度こそ守ろうねてるかドワーフの誓い第7番<笑>ロイドが一番嫌いなやつでしょ正義と愛は必ず勝つ本当にそうだといいんだけどな心配<笑>それじゃあこれこれはフラノールの雪うさぎ幸運を呼ぶんだって昼間ねこれをアルテスタさんのところに持って行ってもらったのもう一個はロイドにありがとうねみんなもついてるしお守りもあるしもう大丈夫だよああそうだな So yeah, I didn't want to interrupt the scene, very famous scene, with your chosen character. Uh, they were talking about uh, Kratos and having to fight him to get Origins, you know, packed. But we're going to go and try to stop Mitos. Yes. So there was another really long scene there where we discussed our plan to go and stop Mitos. So here we are back at the tower. Our next stop again. 
but uh, since all the angels are guarding the entrance, we're gonna go a secret way. A very secret way that apparently nobody knows about. And I don't think those angels are very tough either. So we probably could have gone through the front, but whatever. So first, let's use our Japanese vending machines. I think both of these just sell the same thing, yeah. Don't know why there's two vending machines. Although it's true, there's like one on pretty much every block. Whenever I go walking, there's at least a, a vending machine every block or so. Or at least it feels like that. I know, I should have been a vending machine um, dispenser instead of a teacher. So Zealous says that he can do something to get the sword. But he needs Colette. Boy, this sounds awfully suspicious. And surprise! It's like, what's with all the traitors in this game? Good job, Zealous. And once again, taking Colette. Zealous! What are you doing? Good question. Once again, a long scene, and they're gonna sick the angels on us. Looks almost like a Valkyrie. Boy, that enemy went into over limits quite a bit, so it was hard to stun them. Instead, we were being knocked down. So we're going to take the portal here and chase after Colette. So this will be the fifth time rescuing Colette. And once again, we're back in here in Dereskalan, whatever you want to call it. And um, yeah, the tree, if you remember the big scene with the tree that went crazy, um, apparently that was here also, and so the tree has destroyed most of this place with roots everywhere. So let's see what kind of plant creatures we have to fight. A pretty little rose that drops seeds. Gotta destroy all your seed. Don't want that plant spewing its seed everywhere. So there's going to be quite a few uh, famous scenes that happen in this place. And so I'll leave them all in for the fans and 
for those that uh, want to, you know, want to see what it's like in the Japanese version. Boy, that tree really did a number on this place. Hey, we get to use the normal sorcerer ring. None of this weird bubble stuff or controlling animals or electricity or wind or shrinkage. We get like normal, normal sorcerer ring power. I feel a dead end over here. Lots of goodies. Glad my dead end sensor is working top notch. Nandaka Munega Zawazawasura. Dostanda. Huang Kona. Dostadaro, Minaga Irunoni. Konkyo no nai Huang Waki Udes. Gambari Masho, genius. Demone. Genius, so worried. It's all about mythos and zealous also betrayed us. Yeah, our situation isn't too good. So over here is this door that we were at. We can open it as you know a shortcut, or close it. But better leave it open. I just like pushing buttons. Opening the door, closing the door, opening the door, closing the door. Just so much fun. Check out those dodging skills. Ooh, another one of my favorite dead end places. I was wondering if these things in the walls are like switches or something. You can never tell if it's like a switch you're supposed to push or something. Okay, so we gotta burn this. Takes uh, quite a few shots. Three, I guess. Alright, we'll do one more battle. I always promise two battles per dungeon. Boxing flowers, they were totally running out of ideas. Yeah, let's make a flower and let's make them like they're boxing. Uh, 
Okay, so we're gonna run back to that door we opened as a bit of a shortcut. But yeah, this episode will be a little bit longer than the others because there's some really important scenes that I'm gonna leave them in. Actually, go down the stairs this time. There should totally be a secret chest behind that staircase. But no. Alright, here we go with the famous scenes. There's no end to them. So we're gonna dash through the door. Man, that is a strong kick. これと救えるのはお前しかいない。分かってるよ。でも仲間を犠牲にして先に行くなんて。それは違う。私は私は勝ちで大切な人を守ることができなかった。だから今度こそ守りたい。大切な仲間を。イーガル。これと守ってやってくれ。分かった。イーガル、知るなよ。あんたと同じ苦しみを背負うのは俺は嫌だからな。難しいことを言う。すまん、アリシア。お前のところに行くのはまだまだ先になりそう。As we say in Japanese, Mazu Hitori. So slowly we are losing our party members. Regal sacrificing himself for the greater good.
And let's see who's next. Starting to feel sick going around in circles here. Get dizzy. There's part of that tree left. It'll be Sheena. あの時の生き残りみたいだね。あの時まさか大事の。この感じ間違いないね。ここは私の出番ってことさ。あんたは下がってな。青ざめし永久氷結の死とよ。So Sheena's gonna summon a couple of her summons and then absorb their mana to be kind of a miniature mana cannon like she did before. But this time she is going to be the mana cannon. Won't be a big one, but it'll be a small one. どうするつもりなんだ。魔導法の真似事さ。ま、威力はかなり落ちるけど、こいつには十分だよ。どいどん。私が合図したら、こいつの下を走り抜けるんだ。いいね。そう、どいつからrun。when she gives him the signal. She used up all her energy. She used to take a break. <gasps> Anime tentacles. <laughs> だよ。笑い事じゃないだろう。いや。思い出したんだよ。あんたと初めて会った時のこと。私ってよっぽどお年屋なに縁があるのかね。いいからじっとしろ。今そっちに行くから。余計なお世話だよ。あんたは早くこ
そんな柄じゃないよねロイドしっかりやりなよもう。So I'm just gonna wander around here, make sure I get all the chests before warping out of here. I think there is some way to come back here, maybe, if you miss chests, but there might not be. I just make sure to grab them all before I leave. Looks like I cleared that area. Well, who's next? Kso, hiyake yo. Dou yara, koko kara sousa suru mitai ne. Man, this place is full of traps. Koko wa atashi ni makasete. Sensei, haiku. Sekasa nai de. Kore ne. Yatta. Oi. This is like totally the Goonies booby trap from the Goonies movie. Hey, boxing flower. Man, look at that giant axe. Sheesh. ロイド、今はコレットを助けることだけを考えていなさい。余計なことに気を取られないで。All the doors are open, but yeah. いつ誰が犠牲になってなったのかしら私はあなたの理想を信じた私たち狭間の者でもあるがままに受け入れてくれるそんな世界を作るというあなたの理想を信じたのそれは私にとっての希望その実現のために私はここまで来たんですもん
先生が死んだら何にもならないだろうあなたの理想が息づく世界で私の心は生き続けるわでもあなたの理想がついえたらそれは私の希望が死ぬ時希望を失って生き続けるのは死ぬより辛いことではなくてそんなのわからないよわからないのなら人が生きるということがどういうことなのかこれからの人生で学び取りなさいそれがあなたの先生としての最後の教えですさあもう行きなさい先生の言うことは聞くものよ先生俺忘れないよ先生のこと飲んだね、私のかわいいセット。What a great speech. And I know how she feels because of being a teacher. Okay, this has gone on a bit too long. So in the next episode, we'll continue this dungeon. We're down to three characters. So hope you'll join me in the next one. As things get more exciting, and will we save our heroes and our Colette? Tune in for the next one, guys. Thanks for watching.